Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Cup of Dusk. My name is Roy. I'm a buddy of the VTuber specializing in voice acting and housing this cafe called the Cup of Dusk, where I bring in various VTubers from around the internet. We do a little improv sketch comedy combined with roleplay, but more importantly, welcome in, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's the day before a big holiday. I hope you're all doing fantastic. We've got a lot of familiar faces in here. We've got Repro. We've got Team Hero. We've got Curious One. We've got... Is that... Tiger. Hi, Tiger. It's so nice to see you again. Hattie Drago, Secret Ninja, welcome in to you all. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you're all doing fantastic today. Hope you guys had your coffee. You're ready for the holiday if you celebrate. If not, then just use it as an excuse to get some good food, have some good vibes, spend some time with your friends and family, your loved ones, the people you care about, like me. Because you, <clears throat> you guys, you, you care about me, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> hi, hello, Cracker. Hello, Mike the Giant, hope you're doing well. Time to order a nice tea and have a lovely chat with a handsome fellow. <gasps> you think I'm handsome? Damn, maybe I haven't, maybe maybe I haven't gone too far enough down the cute hole yet. I need to, I need to work myself into becoming more cute. I need to commission some more art of myself being cute and hyper cute and just, you know, the, the cuteness to the max, you know, things like that. That's, that's what we got to do, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Hello, Zombay. Yes, we love you. Thank you. I do appreciate that. We all love you and adore your lovely bun self. Thank you so much. Elena, hello. Welcome in. It's been a while. Has it? I was just streaming yesterday on YouTube. If you guys didn't know, I do stream on uh, YouTube now as well. Every Tuesday and Thursday, if you guys are interested in checking out the YouTube channel, exclamation point, YouTube in chat, you'll be able to support me there. It is free to subscribe, just like it is free to follow on Twitch. In a similar capacity, I'll actually be back there tomorrow, spending Thanksgiving with you all, playing more Pokemon Violet. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out, definitely. You can be cute and handsome, you're goddamn right. You're goddamn right, I can't. Wait, <clears throat> did you get... Did you guys hear that? 
It's like, it's like a muffled screaming sound. Does anybody hear that? Whoa! Whoa! Hello? Oh, are you okay? Hello? What? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah! Run away! Run away! I'm got Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Here, here. Here's the water. Here's the water. Water, water, water. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Are you okay? Uh. Uh. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. You scared okay. me there. <laughs> Was that was that you screaming? Uh, yes, <laughs> screaming. Sure. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, like uh, choking a bit there, but choking oh, a bit. Thank you. Thank you. What happened? Mm. Are you? Um, I don't know. Like, uh, I, I, I just, like just shoved something in my mouth, and I didn't realize it was gonna explode like thick and creamy shit down my throat and. Ah, uh, wait, <laughs> did you have like a donut or something? Mm -hmm. More like a cream cheese bun, yeah. Cream a cheese cream bun. cheese bun. Oh, I can't say I've mm -hmm. ever had one of those before. But that does sound pretty... Oh, <clears throat> Sorry, where are my manners? Hi, uh, w Hi. welcome to my, my cafe. My name's Roy. Hey, Roy. Hi. I'm Kai. 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 Should I, should I mm -hmm. emphasize the Kai? Should, should I say yeah. it like that? Yeah. Yeah. Just say. Just say it like. Hi. Yeah. It has to have that long and lingering effect because everything about me is long. <laughs> I mean, I can see that. You're, <laughs> you're ma How tall are you? I'm actually six five, standing tall and proud, and <sighs> yeah, everything else, standing tall and proud. He's over a foot taller than me. Oh my goodness, Lorge doesn't even come close to describing this man. His muscles you know have muscles. That's a that's a good thing. You're just about the right height where like you know you can just motorboat me anytime you want. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't thinking about it before, but you know, you know there might there might be some new thoughts running around in my head. I, I'm all about you know volunteering ideas, so you're welcome. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You know what? I do appreciate that, but I feel like before I get into something like that, to get into something so intimate. I should probably get to know you a little bit better, right? Like, I only just learned that your name is Kite. <laughs> you know? Right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? What, like, where, where were, like, you, you, I, 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 you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, should, should I translate yeah, that? that? that yeah, please do, please, please do. do. Okay. I, Are you okay now that you have been able to have some water and clear up the gunk that was in your throat from the cream cheese bun? Yes, like all that sticky gooeyness just gone in. Thank you, thank you very much. Like, <laughs> I, I should, I should come here more often whenever I happen to be choking on whatever. So, <laughs> oh, I would hope that you would come here more than just one of your choking. But listen, <laughs> if you ever need a beverage, if you need something along that line, well, I got you. Well, so long as you like coffee, you know. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> do you, do you do you like do you like coffee? Do you, I, I love coffee. Oh, I, thank God. Oh. I'm one of those people that enjoys my coffee, like plain, like not, no cream, no sugar, just plain. I think that's totally valid. I, th I think there's too much hate right now on the way that people drink coffee. It's like, it's like walking on a minefield, you know? Right. Well, we have somebody calling you a liar. Are, are you lying? They say you like cream in your coffee. I mean, if it's offered, why not? <laughs> I like that. I think that's a good way of thinking about no. things. Yeah. Oh, don't don't mind them, by the way. I'm I'm sure I'm sure the audience will will not mind harassing you just a smidge, and I hope you don't mind being harassed slightly. If you, if you look directly there, you can see that okay. there's there's a red light on that camera. It means we're live. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, is are you are you bringing in a couch sometime soon too? You know, I was debating doing something like like doing casts off the couch, you know? I see. Something something uh -huh. along those lines, but you know, I I just I couldn't find the right kind of couch. They were all sold out. It's crazy. We can we can improvise like we you can improvise. Like, you could you could sit on the counter and then I'll bring like four more of me and like we'll just stand in the background. Just four more of you? Yeah. 
<laughs> just so there's like five of me and like one of you just sitting oh so now it's five of you <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow that escalated I'll, quickly i'll do some kind of like naruto jutsu or oh, some kagebushin <laughs> Fantastic. We absolutely love that kind of thing. But wait, do you do you not have any friends that you could bring with you? Do you have to resort to doing that sort of thing? I mean, I I do. I mean, I am in a VTuber group, and there is five of us. So, um, I, I kind of worried though. We might not fit within the radius that your <laughs> camera. The width. You know. Are you worried about yeah, the, width? the width? The width, the girth, and um, yeah. You know, I have I have heard about these things before. I've I've had very many a guest come into the cafe before. The gravitational field. That's true. It might cause too much of a pull. Like, see, see, like I'm already, I'm already. Ah! I'm sorry, I had to pull myself back. That was close. Whew, sheesh. <laughs> There's just something magnetic about you, you know. But yeah. So you said you had, cool. you had you had four other brothers. I do. Oh. Do, do they have names? You know, for um, personal reasons, you know, just, you know, just like, uh, hey, thing hey, one, hey, thing hey, two, I'm thing just kidding. Two. Okay, perfect. <laughs> no, um, so I, yeah, I do have four other brothers. Mm. Oh, we call ourselves Invicta. Okay. One of which, I believe, just so happened to, yeah, I think I do recall him raving about going to, coming to your place, like, a few months back. <gasps> Five-star review on Yelp and everything. Oh, who was it? Who was it? I think, do you recall Taiga Chama the Oh, <gasps> I love yeah. Taiga! I hate that bitch. <laughs> what? Wait, what did Tyga do? Uh, uh, he, he didn't make me turkey for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's pretty fucked up, Tyga. I can't uh, like, what are you, yeah. what are you doing? You know, I just, right? pff, oh, man, I, listen, I, I'm not going to lie. I would make you turkey for Thanksgiving. I'm just saying. Eat turkey scraps, you best. Dang. Wow. Well. I, I see how it is. You know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. I'll make it a nice turkey sandwich. <laughs> There you go, there you go. You know what goes <laughs> nicely with a turkey sandwich, though? It's a nice cup of coffee. Thank you, Obsidian Crimson, for buying a cup of coffee. Hey. I appreciate you. <laughs> you know what? I agree, I agree. Coffee goes well with almost anything. And no. Damn right. You're goddamn right. I'll leave your food in a lizard bowl. What? You have a lizard? Uh, I don't know. He likes calling me scaly. Uh, do, you, do you have scales that I just... I'm like not in not in this form at least. Not what does that mean? Uh oh, I uh I I guess I failed to mention, so when I usually introduce myself, mm. I say I'm your Dragon Boy host in human form. Uh oh I, I worry. I worry, especially in like places like yours, if I'm in my Dang. full dragon form. I don't think I'll go. fit in here. And I'm I'm not sure if your insurance will cover it if I so. You know, we actually have really good insurance. I have an ancient dinosaur that bankrolls this place. It's pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's a little bit more impressive? One of the cool things that we do here, on the regular, aside from thanking our guests from buying cups of coffee, Anonymous, thanks for gifting a sub, we also have this tradition. I don't know if you're familiar, and, and feel, feel free to deny if you don't feel like participating. Are you familiar with the ways of the era era? I... I, I believe I am. Um, okay. Uh, I believe I am a. Let's see. If we're gonna go by, you know, school level, I guess. Sure. I what you call it, educational level? Sure. I am of the elementary level to the air era, era. You're still at element. No way. No. Like uh, um, maybe you could be my sensei and teach me how oh. to do it properly. Wow, that seems. I kind of, Chad, I kind of, I kind of like that. I kind of, someone, someone small like me getting to teach and coach someone big like him. I'm sorry, actually, yeah. do you use he, him pronouns? I do, I okay. do. Just want to make sure. We got to, got to make sure, respect the pronouns. Respect yeah, them. He, him, whole wrecker. Any one of those. Things. He, him, home wrecker. Got it. Got it. Whole wrecker. Oh, whole wrecker. Yeah. I don't know how many. We don't really have any holes at the moment. We could, we could make some, like. You just want to punch some like some holes in walls? Yeah, yeah, those kind of holes. Got sure, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Got it. Yeah, yeah. You know that happens pretty often here. People like to punch holes through walls pretty often, or like skate through them and stuff like that. You know. Hey, 
Thanks for buying it. But here, let me finish thanking uh, Tenniel Bayard for the sum as well. And we'll get into this era era. So, okay. First thing you're going to do, we do them a little bit differently here. Now, welcome okay. to class. Sensei Roy is here to educate you. All right. Do I get slapped at the ruler if I do it wrong? No, you just... I give you disappointed looks. Hey. Aww. Thanks for buying <laughs> hey, Kate's Junkyard, thanks for buying a cup of coffee. I appreciate it. All right, first thing. First thing you gotta do. First thing you gotta do, you gotta widen your stance. Okay? How wide? Uh, I mean, I'd say like as wide as your shoulders. Okay, legs up in the air right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that wide. I don't. I don't think I can show that on this platform. Listen, I would get in trouble. I would, I would get in trouble for trying to throw my legs up behind my ears and wear them like earrings. Okay, I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> throw them in the air like woo. Throw them in there just like I don't care. Anyway, so we're gonna spread our legs and okay. we're gonna widen the stance. Okay. And then we're going to power stance. You gotta. You gotta shout power stance. Okay. Power sense. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Then you give it the old. Uh, da, da. Hey yo. Okay. <laughs> Don't say hey yo. You're supposed to. You're supposed to follow up. You're supposed to take notes. You know. I I, I am. I am. Wait, oh ooh, okay. I, I have my. I have my. You know those black and white notebooks they <laughs> give you. In yeah, this. the marble notebooks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I have that out right. Now. Oh, perfect. Ab you are you are an A plus star pupil. Excellent. I, I try my best. Would you, would you like to uh, give it a try yourself as well? Sure, sure. Okay. <clears throat> Stance. Ready to go. Uh, da, da. That was great! What are you talking about? Mm. What? Why, why are you so self-conscious about it? <laughs> that was great! You thank you, thank you. Yeah! I don't know if you need me as a sensei for that. I, I just I just wanted I just wanted an excuse to get slapped by a ruler. <laughs> I don't have a ruler in here. What do I look like? A Sunday school? Don't answer. That works. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Don't answer that. Oh my goodness. I need I need like the I need like a nun outfit. I should call my friend Luca. Maybe she can lend me hers. You know? Get like a nuns have skirts, right? I can wear a skirt in that. Anyway. <laughs> Yo. Listen. I got nothing. Not the nun outfit. Just because I want to be fashionable and and wear cute, sexy outfits doesn't. Uh, I, I lost my train of thought. I just want to wear cool clothes and, and cute, sexy outfits. <laughs> An artist, you know what to do. Wait, what? Nothing. Chat, what happened? I missed it. I chat. I missed no, it. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Chat. Right. We're just. Uh. We're just simply agree. If you say so, I'm a little nervous now. I'm a little sus. I'm a little. I'm a little cute. We're say so. Damn. If you say so, listen. Okay. Listen. I. I understand. Speak for yourself. Whoa. Are you unsay so? Am I? Oh. Okay. That's pretty normal right here too. Honestly. Mm. <laughs> I mean, at this point, like, you can't like look at a guy with a happy trail and. <laughs> he <said so. laughs> hey, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I try not to judge people based on what their appearances are or by how large their pectoral muscles are or anything like that. You know, I'm kind of just here for the ride and to try and make sure that, you know, my guests have a good. Why are you looking at me like that? You know what? I take it back. I am actually the Mother Teresa of you oh, okay. You know, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. I was very nervous for a second that I was going to be in a, for a ride. You know, yeah. so many crazy mm -hmm. things, so many crazy adventures happen here. And I was just, whew, thank goodness we get to have a normal night. Right, chat? Yeah, like, I would be one of those people that would gladly just, you know, teach you how to properly kneel down in prayer. Just oh, wait, who get are on we... your knees. And... Who are we praying to? Um, Don't worry about that. <laughs> What is this? Just the practice in the form? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the practice in the form? Okay, all right, here. I'll, I'll try right now. I'll try right now. Let me know how this is. Here, I'm just... Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Here we go. How's that look? Perfect. Perfect? Good. All right, here we go. Here we just... Okay. 
Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and what you bow your head. Okay, bowing head. Close your eyes. Eyes are closed. And um, you know we do things a bit differently here. Oh, like, okay. Uh, what do we do? Are you are you aware of the Holy Communion? Like the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and then like um, like they give you like they feed you something. Oh yeah, they give you like the the little the little like, the wafer and the wine. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, we'll, we'll save we'll save that part for. Uh, for, for next time. For next time. Okay, okay. Another time when I'm not behind the counter. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chat, why are you freaking out? He's just teaching me how to pray. I don't understand. Yeah, what's... Chat, come on, come on. You guys are a bunch of weirdos. I don't know what the problem here is. You need to go to church or something, Chad. Yeah, you guys need to go to... You guys need to go to church. The confessional booth? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> That's what we clearly need. You know what? I actually do want to ask because we're talking about various locations of where we could hang out and things like that. Because okay. clearly the first, apparently our first date is a, you know, a church. church. <laughs> apparently. But I do have to ask and I'm curious and, and, and forgive my intrusion, but do you work out? I do. Okay. I actually do work out. Okay. How, how do you feel about having, having a bunny with you at the gym? Asking for me, yeah. not a friend. Asking I, for I me. like that. I... Can you, would you mind spot? We can spot for each other. Yes. I don't know. I'm not very, I'm not like super strong or anything. Like my muscle has been waning, but I, I can certainly try. I give my all. I like, I like breaking a sweat. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll work with you on it. Hell yeah. Bunny muscles built up. Yeah. Something like that. I have a little bit of sway. Just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, we can be gym bros and gym bros. Yeah, I like that. I, I like that. I like the sound of that. I don't. I don't think I have any gym bros. I think Tyga was talking about taking me to the gym once, and then Hello? we and now we kind of just keep talking about like drinking together, which is also fun. Do you like to drink too? I do love to drink. Sound, sounds I, like we gotta we gotta have some we gotta have some drinks we gotta have a workout we gotta go to church together damn there's a long we're making just a long laundry list now of things to do <laughs> from church to the bar church to the bar well church to the gym to the bar forgive me for I'm about to say <laughs> all right let's go drink. forgive me for I'm about to sin what is what is your drink of choice what do you like drinking oh shit I do like drink shit good old beer. Oh. Did you just say drink shit? You said aw shit! I was like, oh, you like oh. drinking shit. Okay, makes sense. Um, not my kind of kink. But <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding! It was a funny! <laughs> it was a ha-ha, it was a hee-hee, uh, it was yeah. a hoo-hoo. I'm a, I'm a beer kind of guy. Um, okay. I also, only because it was like, oh, if I had this a lot when I was younger. Oh. And I've, um, as far as cocktails, I do love tequila sunrise and uh, okay. pina colada i don't know like there's something about especially um, like when i was younger we'd go to all these beaches and resorts so and then you know you'd see in these movies like for some reason they'd always order like a pina colada when they're like by the pool so yeah I think that's what kind of attracted me to the drink whenever we'd go to hotels or resorts yeah like, of course by the pool like a, like a pina colada for, you know, just for the effect of lounging by the pool. Makes sense to me. I like pina coladas. I think they're underrated. I think people think Absolutely. that they're crap because they see them in the movies and the TV shows all the time. Mm. Very and underrated. A little meta doesn't hurt every now and then. A little meta? Mm. What, do you, what is, what, what's a little meta? I've never heard of that ingredient. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, like, you know, meta, um, chat, do you guys, mate, shit, is this, is this, um, Okay, I think this. So, oh. uh, it's a term we use in professional gaming. Oh, that's um, that meta. Okay. Yeah, that. I, I just didn't know what context you meant meta. I was like, okay. do you mean like like tears and like what's in season and like what's going strong? I get you. The meta of drinks. Yes. Okay. So what is it? It's, it's like the the sleeper, in the meta. People are people are sleeping on it. Yeah, sleeping on it, thinking it's overrated, but you know what? I feel Sometimes you. we need a little bit of that. Oh, I definitely Something feel steeple. that. <laughs> uh, Rose Chan says, if you like tequila sunrise, try drink sex on the beach. Just a fruity. I mean, just a fruity what? Just a fruity what? 
Why drink when you can do? A tequila sunrise? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the tequila sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try much harder than that to get me to slip up. Listen, I've been working with these <laughs> jokers for too long now, okay? I am ready. I have had my fair share of degenerates here. Tyga was here, you know? He's got quite the imagination on him. I can see now why you guys are brothers. I can see the family resemblance in your brains. You know, the difference, though, is that he could leave things like he there are certain parts of him that he could leave less to the imagination, too, which I believe he did on your he did. stream when you guys. Yeah, he took his shirt off and he had pasties on. I can take my pants off. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Rose, thanks for the other 50 bits. Sorry. So it has peach snops and cherry liqueur and orange juice mixed with Sprite soda. Super duper good. Oh, that's a sex on the beach. Yeah, I, I've actually had sex on the beach. It, it's really good. The drink. The drink. <sighs> You're just making it too easy for him. You know, like what are they? What are they gonna do? They, there's there, there's too many easy situations where they could just play sound alerts and sound redeems. You know what are you doing? It's like your first time to a live streamed cafe. Can't believe this. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are there any kinds of other drinks, cocktails, anything like that that you like? Maybe, maybe a type of liquor that you like the most is a tequila. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure if you're so. Oh, uh, I discovered this drink because of uh, Violetta. Uh, they mention it quite a. It's always. I don't even. I think it's what they always have whenever they're like drinking on stream. Uh, amaretto. Um, Wait, who did you say is drinking this? Uh, Uki, Uki Violetta from Chisanji. Oh, I yeah. I have heard whispers of this uh, purple boy. I don't know how to. I'm, I'm trying to chat i'm trying to play dumb here that i don't know who uki is but i actually do he's super cute anyway yes amaretto sours yes yes it's the only capacity that i'm willing to have amaretto because otherwise i think it's disgusting but amaretto sours what? for some reason slap you know, understandable yeah it's it's i don't know what it is you know no, i'm not gonna tell you anything pillow lord okay listen there's many a boy out there Man, there are many a man out there that I really... In okay, listen, I didn't phrase this right. I'm just going to not speak. Amaretto sour slap, but I don't like amaretto as a flavor uh, most of the time. It just it just doesn't sit well with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, we got 85 bits from Sunny Day S'mores. I can't drink alcohol, but I recommend the gas station drink battery acid. <laughs> what?! Uh, it's a slushy with nerd Sour Patch Kids and a monster. Keeps you awake for a week. Okay, I feel like I'd also feel my teeth fall out with that. Oh my god. That's so much sugar! I felt all my body parts that, you know, that, that react to diabetes just, like, retract in my body. <laughs> I felt my body recoil. And <laughs> recoil in horror. I, I was aroused, but I am no longer... <laughs> <laughs> listen the mention of a, of a purple boy that likes amaretto sours listen i'm in there i'm ready i'm listening i am i'm at attention but that battery acid i'm out nope goodbye <laughs> you know what I, i'd drink it i'd drink it i would probably drink it <laughs> i would try it i would try it How it sounds that? like You'd have it with Cheetos or oh, Doritos. No. Just go full on junk food. Uh, I hate it. I listen. If I'm going junk food, I'm going milkshake. I have to go milkshake if I'm doing that type of type of thing. You know. Does it bring all the boys to the yard? Listen. Wait. What? You know what? I, Are, I guess it does. Well, I mean, you're here, and Tyga was yeah. here either. So I'm two for five. Mm -hmm. Two for five. Got it. Okay. Um. I don't know. Uh. Our mil wait, our milkshake's like the chest or is it the ass? I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I really like milkshake. What's your favorite? Which do you have a favorite kind of milkshake? Um, <laughs> as, as long as it's thick and green. Oh. Um, don't laugh. <laughs> this is serious business. <laughs> Chat, don't ao. Listen, it was a serious question. I'm asking kite kite what his favorite flavor of milkshake is. 
uh i'm you know what i'm all for like a, i always order this if it's on the menu mm. like a strawberry banana milkshake. oh okay getting getting you a little what's... fancy and fruity yeah very fruity very very fruity no um i think one of the reasons why is um i remember when i was a kid watching mighty morphin power <gasps> no yeah, yeah sorry yeah. sorry i love <clears throat> sorry continue Con con <clears throat> yeah um r.i.p jason david frank the rest in peace, but... <sighs> yes very much so very much so, so yeah there was this um one scene because they have that like bar that they go to not not like Ernie's a bar, but like a juice smoothie bar. Yeah, yeah. bar yes exactly so um i remember this one episode where they were having like like a banana shake just mm -hmm. just a banana shake and then i'm like i go to this um i go to this place and first i don't know why like i go to the shake place they serve strawberry banana shake but they don't serve like just banana shake I'm sure you could ask for it if you're like, just don't put any strawberry in. No, that's the thing. Like, I asked, like, can I just have it in banana? And they're like, oh no, it's, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's pre-mixed. Um, yeah, it's so weird. What? I don't. Listen, you need to find a better shake place. You should come here for milkshakes because I hear that my milkshakes do in fact bring up both. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep it coming around, you know. We gotta keep it round town. Easy peasy. Yeah. Easy peasy. But um, I can indeed confirm that, damn right, it is better than, well, theirs. Damn right! It's better than theirs, I could teach you, but I'd have to explain that it's not milkshake and that it's actually my ass. Anyway, uh, there's, so would you say banana is your favorite? Don't laugh at me, this is serious. We're, we're talking about laughing. milkshake. I'm, Why are you laughing? I'm, I'm giving a five star, I'm already typing my five star review on Yelp right now. <gasps> Oh, thank you so much that'll make so many other customers come in plus you talked about power rangers which is you know it's, <laughs> that's a that's a yeah that's an easy way to my heart right there easy peasy yeah. i'm a huge power rangers nerd 100 yeah. <laughs> percent. i i don't i don't know about you all in chat but i was one of the many people that whenever it, it's such it's like the easiest question for me to answer if you were to ask me who my childhood crush was, like, 100%, Amy Jo Johnson. Yeah! <laughs> Amy Jo Johnson. She still looks great. Have you seen her? She does. Yeah! Amy Jo Johnson, can really hard. She's, uh, whoo, she's something. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Uh, gosh, there are, there are so many great. Uh, original rangers and power rangers and i'm sure listen i could go on and on about power rangers but before i do we can transition off of power rangers because it's a dangerous <laughs> subject around here we'll go the entire time you're here talking about it but if you had to pick one ranger from the entire franchise who's your favorite oh shit um Oof. well i remember um like for halloween i dressed up as like red ranger jason mm -hmm. so um, that's always been a classic for me i guess and i didn't really so i started off with my uh mighty morphin power rangers right mm -hmm. but i stopped watching by the time they started wrapping up on turbo oh okay you missed the best season or one of the best which is in space it's the next season after turbo oh, i watched a bit of it I okay watched a little bit of okay it. all right fair enough fair enough um i don't i think my favorite i, I can't choose a specific ranger but Pick one. i did enjoy the design of neo who uh the power rangers neo the what or was it zeo zeo oh, zeo yes zeo 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 good zeo zeo is a lot of yeah. fun uh, I love the theme because, like, you just you just hear the high pitch. See ya! <laughs> yeah, 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 like every once in a while. <laughs> Stronger than before. Oh my goodness gracious! Anyway, let's move on from Power Rangers okay, because clearly okay, you're already sense. a man after my heart, and I'm just I'm just. <clears throat> anyway, now for the ass. What? Nothing. Chat. What did he say? Chat. Sell him out. Rat him out right now. Chat. What did he say? I didn't hear what he said. Write him out, chat! 
<laughs> I need to know. This is my cafe, damn it. There will be not be horny depraved. He said nothing. Oh, okay. I believe you. Nothing. Yeah. I just got here. I don't know. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Didn't hear anything. He said nothing. All right. Cool. You know, you know what? My apologies. You know, I, I'm just used to people coming in here and trying to take advantage and, you know, making it sound like I make this stuff up, you know? <laughs> I think it's the coffee buzz, no worries. Like the fumes oh. of coffee beans. It, Whoa, it does, why was that massive? <laughs> what? The sound is massive. Why is it so big? <laughs> I don't know why that was so big. That scared me. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Listen, normally uh, chat is better at controlling their sharts than that mm -hmm. but listen you know we're, we're here now we're here we're at least 50 percent queer and we're not sharding anymore oh i mean okay do you i don't want to shart baby shark do, do, oh my do, god do, do. <laughs> <laughs> not the sharding oh i can't believe it gosh darn it chat what did i just say what did i just say <laughs> We're not sharding here, okay? Thank you for the 300 bits, though. I do appreciate that a lot. That helps way more than you know. As much as the... Uh, da, da, does. You know? You didn't do anything? I don't believe you. Did you do it? Was it you? Are you anonymous? Uh... No. Oh, okay. I totally believe you. <laughs> Alright, so since we're in a cafe... Okay. There, are, okay. there are many, many different things you can have at a cafe. Obviously, I gave you water already. We talked about milkshakes and my ass. There's also sharding, which I don't recommend having because it's not a good menu item. It's just, you know, just... just. That was the perfect timing, by the way. As soon as you say ass, it's a shark. <laughs> I hate it. I can't flirt with anybody here without <laughs> someone ruining it. Chat just wants me to die single and alone and with the fattest ass and the nicest thighs ever and they just don't understand okay just don't understand just because i'm five four this is this is this is bun phobic okay they are attacking my bunny dumb i see it's not fair sorry that you have to experience this particularly your bun butt or yeah what may be lack there of control of your bun butt I'm not, sh I'm not the one sharding. It's mm -hmm. chat. They're making the sound effects. They throw money at me and it's for some reason it makes a weird sound. You know? Sure, sure. I, I believe you, I oh believe you. Oh my God. Sure, all right, whatever. You know what? All right, this is more appropriate. Here we go. That was much more appropriate. Thank you, chat, for the 500 bits for c you know, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we almost made it. We almost had a nice moment of you and I dancing together really awkwardly, but they mm. ruined it. It's more you know, I, I have a- They saved it, Never mind. I have a fun fact for you. Hit me with song. the fun fact. I want to hear more. Everything. So, um, back when I was in, uh, like, a, a college. Dragon I College. Went to college in- yeah, like, Dragon we learned to breathe fire. <laughs> Hogwarts School of Dragon <laughs> and Fire Breathing. Hogwarts School of Dragon D's no <laughs> 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 Sorry, continue. Oh I can I can I can Later yeah. Late listen. Okay. Oh okay. Listen, y'all I need to see that degree later anyway. Mm. Oh, I thought you meant like drag my nuts on. <sighs> I was trying I was trying to be a little bit more subtle about it. That's why I said, see the degree, you know, like, because we were just talking. Damn. You just su subtle shit. Woo! Subtlety, just woo. Subtlety. <laughs> Subtlety, I hardly know her. <laughs> Sir, you are tiny. Yeah. And? So what? Just because Kite's a foot taller than me, so what? You know what it's called? Size difference. That's the genre. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you are the one that burst into here. So anyway, fun size. There we go. I do like that. 
I like I like being referred to as fun size. I think that's a little bit more appropriate. Anyway, you were telling me a story about Dragon College. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, particularly Careless Whisper. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, when I like when I was studying in Manila, Philippines, I found out that Careless Whisper was actually it's a bit of a meme song for Filipinos. Oh, um, <laughs> oh no. Okay. So, the reason why is um, so there was this um. Uh, there was this, um, let's just say there was this uh, video that was leaked. Video that was leaked? Okay. Yeah. Of like two, like one, so, like one celebrity doctor and um, the guy. And um, the other was like a, like a sexy celebrity stylist. And, um. Okay. In, in that leaked video, like they were like sexy dancing to Careless Whisper. And apparently, <laughs> it was such a controversial thing. Okay. Like it, it made headlines and whatnot. So every time, like, any Filipino would hear the song Careless Whisper, that would be the first thing that comes into their head. Oh, my gosh. Like, that exact scandal that happened in the Philippines. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of funny. Because, like, <laughs> now, now I'm... I'm thinking of careless whisper and as it's going on i'm just imagining two people really awkwardly dancing like have you ever seen uh seinfeld yeah 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 I have. you know I've like seen a few you know like elaine's dance have you seen elaine's dance i haven't yet I haven't. Oh, she has this really awkward dance where she like sticks a foot out and then leans back and has her thumb like back behind her and she just rotates that like she does like she does the opposite i'm imagining them dancing like that to sexy oh six. my yes. god <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. I love it. So was, was was that the story though about being in college? Um Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was, that was the story. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Now, let's talk about your favorite type of uh drink and why it's bun related. I mean, uh why it's from my cafe. I see, I see. Mm. Okay. Yeah, your favorite like cafe related drink or or dessert because we do have desserts here your ass okay listen i winked for a reason no oh, my bad i literally winked at everything <laughs> uh -huh. i'm gonna say I'm... Here! <laughs> god damn it chat i knew it i waited i was ready i was ready chat I was ready. Can't catch me slacking. Can't catch me lacking. I'm all caked up on a Wednesday night. Anyway, uh, uh, your your favorite uh, cafe related item. I just answered it. Oh my ass. Okay, good. You know, I just no, listen. Um, okay, <laughs> but you know, if I happen to, um, because obviously. That that's the unfortunate thing about other cafes, right? That's why they can like other cafes can never get on your level because they don't have they don't like, have my ass. Got it? Exactly. exactly. Got so, it. Got it. Like if I'm if I happen to be in the unfortunate situation where I'm faced with the with the with the sad reality that they don't serve your ass, um, but they I'm serve usually the type of guy that likes a like a simple croissant. Okay. Um, okay, you like the croissant. I, I do love my croissant. Yeah, the croissant. Yeah, like, I just say it like that because I heard Tom Holland say it like that once. I was like, I can't unhear it. It's too, it's like, it's too perfect. You know? Mm. Damn, a lot of talk about ass, all this sharding. We're not talking about ass because we're talking about sharding. We're talking about that I'm caked up on a Wednesday and have the thighs. Okay? Chat, we've been through this. I'm like a... Fuck, what was the... Uh, all you can eat buffet. There we go. I had to think of it. My, my brain just it is short circuited for a second. Yeah, no. All you can eat buffet. That's usually what I refer to myself as. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> it's all dessert, though. Yeah. It's all dessert. Ah, oh, yes. By the way, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, chat. I hope you're all doing fantastic. I know it's a little early still. It's not Thanksgiving yet here in nondescript city. But if you do celebrate it, make sure you have a <laughs> make sure you have a fantastic and safe holiday. Don't go out for Black Friday deals. Just buy things online. Use protection. I mean, yeah, that that too. You know. 
what are we thankful for? I don't know if you celebrate Thanksgiving or not, but it is always kind of fun to talk about what you were thankful for. Are, are, are you thankful mm -hmm. for anything in particular that's not my ass? I'm thankful that I have, um, let's see, what am I thankful for? Oh, I, I, you know, I always, like every day, I, like I wake up in the morning and you know, ass. it's just one of those things where <laughs> you wake up and think how blessed you are. Oh, like, that one way more whole thing like, I thought. Think about your life. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just really thankful every single day. Like I, I wake up in the morning and just look around me, like. I have a, I have a, I have a roof over my head. Aww. I'm in a comfy room, and I have a really big dick. So, ha! Oh, I thought that I stepped a boundary. Meanwhile, Kite is like, that's that's him. Like, <laughs> it's on the cap. Anyway, um, wow, I'm not. <sighs> you know, it really just just it just brings a tear. To my eye, you know, hearing somebody talk about everything they're th they're, th they're thankful for. Mm -hmm. Damn, I can't imagine what it must be like having such a big, massive. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can't imagine. I can't. I, I, just, I just can't imagine. <laughs> yeah, that must be. That must be a crazy, insane. Mm. Even. <laughs> um, is there anything you're actually thankful for? Or would you say it's the things beforehand? Um. No, I'm I'm thankful for I'm thankful for the Okay, like I guess like for real. Um I am thankful for the community I have as a YouTuber. Oh, that is wholesome. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well I I, I think I think most VTubers can probably attest to that that a big part of our backbone of the people that support us is of course our community. So I 100% agree with you. Thankful to you guys out there in chat that are watching right now. If you're watching on a YouTube bot or something like that later, we're probably thankful for you too, just in like, you know, a couple weeks when the when the video comes out. So thanks editor for including this in the the video. Anyway, hi, Dude, don't worry about me. I'm just talking to the... <clears throat> what was I talking about? I like blanked out there for a second. Oh, sorry. Were you, were you still thinking of? Um... It's okay. Take your time. I it, it can. I know how overwhelming it can be sometimes. So. Oh, yeah. you're talking about. Got it. Got it. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. I have to admit, it was still on my mind in a tiny mm. capacity. You know, it was still there. I was thinking about it. I was, you know, briefing on it. But don't roy me. Don't roy me. You gotta commit to the bit. You gotta commit to the bit, baby. You know. You gotta remember. You gotta sell it. You know, and that's the best way to sell it. You just, occasionally you just mash the and then you talk about and then you talk about and top it off with some easy. You know? I like that. See? Easy peasy. And if I get to impress Kite, then listen, I'm doing something right. Yeah, you are. No worries. You're, you're good. I'm thoroughly impressed. Hell yeah. You hear that, Taiga? Kite's impressed. Yeah. I don't know if Tiger was impressed with me. I'm just, I just, I just. I'm that. sure he was. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember the conversations we had, but I keep going <laughs> back to him trying to kiss me and him taking his shirt off. So, <laughs> what a loser! Just his shirt. <laughs> Anything else probably would have gotten me in trouble on Twitch Television because you know we, we, he even had the pasties on, and I was a little worried for that. I you mean. Know. That's why I could always just go behind the counter. I feel like if you came back here, I just wouldn't be able to stream anymore. It would just it would just distract me too much. You know? That's true. That's true. We still have a we still have a show to put on. We still have a show to put on. We still have a show to put on. Just like Dr. Phil is asking for us to actually participate in the fact that I'm running a cafe saying, can I get a sweet tea with a dash of honey for my sore throat? You know what, Dr. Phil? Of course you can. Kite, would you mind? Uh, Conversing with chat for like 30 seconds while I make this tea. My tea. Yeah, tea. So go ahead and just talk to chat. Keep them entertained for like 30 seconds. Okay, sure. Um, all right. Uh, hi, everybody. This is my chat now. Um, I am officially taking full ownership and control of the 
come dusk. And yeah, it, it's mine now. I own the franchise. We're going to complain to a Starbucks. Why, why is it that I leave anytime and everyone's always like, well, I own the cafe now. Is Do I just give off that energy that anybody can just walk in here and be like, I own this. Don't I answer that. You. All right, listen, I said don't answer that. Chat, shut up. <laughs> you know what, chat? I've had it up to here with you. Just because I have only follow bottoms in here and they're 100% true and following me doesn't mean you can just... What was I saying again? I don't remember. Line? Oh, right. Here's your tea. Here you go, Dr. Phil. There, there, there's your, there's your, 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 your tea. When you say you've had it up to here, is that up to here a maximum height of 5'4"? What's wrong with being 5'4"? There's nothing wrong with being 5'. I just want to make sure that, you know, we take note of the clearance. What? What Maximum clearance. clearance. There's plenty of room in here. We have people that grow. Like, direction grow? Okay. <gasps> kite, kite. Let me let me break it down for you. We've had we've had a literal planet in here before. There she is right now, Stella Luna. She's a literal planet. Wow. Yeah. It's actually crazy. She also has a, a glizzy costume. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's it's actually <laughs> listen. Anyway, <laughs> it's a glizzy. Uh, it's like a hot dog, but you say glizzy because it sounds funny. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know why it's funny. Uh, <laughs> you don't seem very impressed. <laughs> All right, guys, glizzies are canceled. We're no longer saying glizzies. Kite said glizzies are out. Hot dogs are in, and especially are in. Yes. Good. In where? I can't say on Twitch.television. I'll get banned. That's yeah. You're I'll right, get you're banned right. if I talk about. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. I'm Fair glad. enough. Yeah. We we still want to keep you around for a few more years. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ab absolutely. I'm I'm not going anywhere just yet. I've got too many things that I need to do. Too many dragon boys that I have to bring in after hours and spend time with intimately behind closed doors, you know? Mm. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you understand. It's very important to me that you understand. Indeed, indeed. It yes. is of the utmost importance. Of course. Like, uh, it is covered by the Declaration of Independence, the Geneva Convention, <laughs> um, the United Nations treaties. Yes, and, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It, it says it right there. Dragons and bunnies have to spend copious amounts of time together. Indeed. Trust, trust. But that being said, clearly I'm not the only person that you've spent time with. What, what do you, what do you like to do in your, your free time? What kind of activities do you like to participate in? We talked about working out. We talked about, you know, uh, eating ass. I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. What else do I like to do? Mm. I like to, um, I like to indulge in many different things. That, wow, that was that was so specific, man. Let me just write this down. Kite, chat, ready? Kite, kite does various things. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Ah, yes. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. That, that's G my answer. Give me. Wait. No, 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 no. Give me, give me one thing. You know, you you talked about being a VTuber and loving your community. What do you love to do with your community? What do you love to do? Um torment them there you go so you're a sadist yeah 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 sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> professionally profession professionally a sadist no um ah uh, so we always meme about this sure. like um whenever like um like if people can't reach me on because honestly i'm not really the i'm not really the chat Type I mm. no. How do I put it? Like um, I'm not really the type that converses much in chat. Not like Twitch chat, but like Discord, mm. Twitter DMs. Sure. Um, so I'm horrendously hard to reach. Some you know what? No, that's not. So I'm horrendously hard to reach if it's like small talk. 
But if it's like um something important, sure. like um collabs or whatnot, then I I, I make it a point to answer. But if it's small talk, um like coming to a bunny's like, cafe. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I consider this of the utmost importance. Oh <gasps> chat! He gave my ass a gold star. Let's go! We're in there! Mm. You're not just stopping at gold star, triple platinum. Hey! We gotta include the thighs on that though, too. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, chat. Thank you for the applause. I know, I know I do in fact have the best ass and thighs of all male VTubers. It's very true. It's true. It's just a fact. You know? Ain't nobody got nothing on Roy's ass. It's exactly. like Michelin star. Exactly. It's like two Michelin stars. It's crazy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, but please continue. Yes. Um. So <laughs> people would normally, if not on social media, um, usually on a Final Fantasy 14, which is an MMORPG. I heard you could play that for free up to level 60, including the yes. award-winning expansion, Heaven's Word. Indeed, indeed. Wow, that's so impressive. I, it is, it is. I haven't played Probably. 14 in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bit. Mm -hmm. That's okay, that's okay. I'll, I'll put you right back in. I The issue with 14, like, I really do want to play it. But there's other games that I want to play too, and yeah. I know that if I'm subbed to 14, that I have to play 14. I can't. Yeah. I can't go play other things. So like, I'm right at the beginning of Endwalker. Okay. Like I did the first dungeon, and that's all I've done so far. I've heard that's where the story gets really good too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed it does. And I've not had anything spoiled for me, so <laughs> I don't know how I stayed spoiler free. Understandable. Yeah, it's like it's uh, getting into Final Fantasy fourteen. It's like getting into a relationship. <laughs> like, <laughs> so true. So true. You really have to commit to it. No, you're right. Go ahead. Go off, King. Like, yeah, because it's not just the sub. It's just that there's so many aspects of the game. Um, like this is what I say when people ask me, like, why play Final Fantasy fourteen? Because there's so many things you can do in the game. Mm. <laughs> If you want a good story, you have that. If you want like something meme and funny, there's some side quests that oh. cater to that. Or sad oh. stuff. Yeah, or, yep, sad, or stuff. sad stuff. Like, Thank you for the if music. If you want to see people die, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, they have that too in abundance. You know, people die when they're killed, I heard. It's, it's a tragedy. It's such a tragedy. This is so this is so sad. Can we get five gift subs in the chat? People die when they're killed. I just, I just, I can't believe this. How dare they? How dare they? How dare they die? How <laughs> dare they die when they're killed? Disgusting. Um, but yeah, no, I I hundred percent agree. Um, FF fourteen is a lot. It is a big commitment of both time and just yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what is your main job? Um, when I'm doing like the high end, um, like brain content. content. Yeah, yeah. I usually play dancer. <gasps> uh, it's it's a very brain dead class. Me. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> I put. I play dancer because I get to wear really cute and sexy outfits and and look look pretty spinning and doing dance moves and shit. And you're not supposed to tell people that it's brain dead because then they're gonna think that we're not doing anything and realize that I forgot to hit close partition with somebody at the beginning of a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. God damn um, it. I also like Warrior. Okay. Unga Bunga. Got it. Because it's the easiest in class. <laughs> I didn't just say Unga Bunga, so it makes sense. Chat, why are you drinking coffee? What do you think this is, a cafe? Huh? How dare you? How dare you? I can't we, believe we this. We only drink milk in this joint. Yeah, we only drink milk and heavy cream. Two mm, percent. Two per- My man. Yes. Do you drink, you drink milk? Yeah? Yeah. Good. Good. That's what I'm talking about. I had this conversation yep. with a fellow bunny recently, and we were okay. like, man, why is it it's so weird that so many people are like hating on people having milk? You know? They they must be like lacking in toes tolerance or something. <laughs> they got lacking toes. How, how, how could you not like toes? That's that's blasphemy. <laughs> no, I didn't say liking toes, they're lacking toes. Oh, they're lacking. Toes. Yes, they're lacking toes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, I don't care about liking toes. Listen, I, I have plenty of friends that, that that like, you know, that I have foot fetishes. I know there's mm -hmm. one crab, you know? There's one crab. His name's Vil. Mr. Krabs? Oh, no, okay. not Mr. Krabs. Ar, ar, ar. <laughs> no, it's Vil. I love him. I love him to death. Yeah. But anyway, Evan 14, dangerous. Don't talk about mm -hmm. dancers because everyone's going to look at them and expect them to do more. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so that's something that you enjoy in your free time. Yes. You enjoy uh, kind of like yelling at your chat, spending time with your community, things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm curious, with VTubing, okay. is, is there something that you wish you could do more of or something that you want to do more of in the future? Okay. Wish I could do in... Wish I could show my dick on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Kite, no! You can't do that. I'll get banned. Wait, do you have... Right. Hold on. Do you... Do you actually have a toggle? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I'm co I'm concerned that you said yet, but also mildly intrigued. Mm. Mm, okay, but continue. So... Shit. <laughs> you wish you could shit on stream? Man, me too. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Become a see, shit stuff tuber. I wish I could do. Um, I don't know. I, I do a lot. I I feel like this is for... I, I wish I could... Mm, I feel like a lot of the stuff I wanted to do as a VTuber, I've done already. Oh, oh, you know what I do want to do? What do you want to do? Um, which I'm... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... This is gonna be. Tell me what you want, Kite. Exclusive. What you really, really want. No, like, tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Ever hear about this? <gasps> guys, like, you're guys, getting the exclusive right here. Exclusive scope right here on my stream. Burr, 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 burr. Vine, Vine sound drop. <laughs> so, mm. um, next year. Next year. So this is something I've won. I've been wanting to do, and I will get to do for sure. I will be, um hosting a do i say the game you know what yeah fuck it i'll say it so i am gonna be hosting a vtuber show match for league of legends and team fight tactics that's awesome mm. that is so cool i didn't know you were a big league guy we were talking about activities and you were like yeah i'm following I 14 league. oh <laughs> No, okay. that makes sense. Um, that makes sense so that, you, that you're gonna, you know, do content with it if you hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, um, uh, uh, let me add context. So, <laughs> sure, I me. was a big, big league player before. Like I played oh. for, um, uh, let's see. I've no, you know, I've had my account for over a decade now. Can you believe that? Wow, me too. So, well, not anymore. I don't, I don't have it anymore. Somebody. Some Russian hacker took it, and I can't get it back. That bitch. Yeah. I, I made it when League first, like, became a thing. Mm -hmm. And then I just never... Anyway, continue with your story. Yours is much more interesting than mine. <laughs> um. So, a lot of my life has been League. I might have got it involved in it professionally in the past. Ooh. Without doxing myself too much. <laughs> Not at all. You're you're totally you're totally safe. No, Just like we're safe now that we have 42 more raiders to listen to your hey! story about playing League. Welcome in raiders. Welcome in everybody. My name's Roy. I'm a buddy barista VTuber and I specialize in voice acting and how's this cafe called the Cup of Dusk, where I bring in various VTubers from around the internet. And we do a little improv sketch comedy combined with roleplay, but more importantly, I've got Kate. I thought you said Kate. No, I, ha I have that too. Well, both. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can have mine too. Chat, I have cake and I have kite mm -hmm. at the same time, and thighs. Yeah, Which, you know. Anyway, welcome in, people. I hope you're doing fantastic! Exclamation point collab and chat. You'll be able to check out kite and all of his amazing content on both Twitter and Twitch. Kite was just in the middle of telling us a story about uh, how he was in professionally involved in league. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That I was once upon a time. No, sir. We young boy. A wee young dragon. 
Yeah, um, like people, you know, it's so funny because people, I know for a lot of gamers, like to be able to make gaming your career, livelihood, it's um, like, I feel like it's a dream for so many people. Like, sure. You know, because like working in gaming, it's like, it does, you know, if it's in gaming, it doesn't feel like work. It could not be farther from the truth. <laughs> it's so true, though. Yeah. I think, I think content creation is like that a lot. Oh, absolutely um and i i know that there are definitely those 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 times like that statement especially it's the complete opposite because i know that the popular statement is um if you love what you do you never work a day in your life and with content That's creation it's the reverse of that if you love what you do <laughs> you work every single day of every single hour of every single minute <laughs> absolutely <laughs> just like lions working that eight month streak thank you so much for eight months of subs i really do appreciate it oh and dream i'm sorry i didn't see it kind if you don't mind giving me a one second i gotta uh, da, da. <laughs> why did you you just why are you staring <laughs> no <laughs> it's been ruined i went for the higher pitched one i went for the cute one you know instead of my more normal soldier one yeah. fucking chat man yeah i i, I got you got I some got help you. chat I'll, I'll, well um well i'll i'll help you bring it back <clears throat> i appreciate you <clears throat> uh, da, da. okay okay let's go but yes <clears throat> so we were talking about um your league career and how how chat we're not talking about sharding okay we're not talking about how he <laughs> sharded playing league but aside from league and you're talking about getting more into um almost a hosting aspect of league yeah, yeah. in 2023 um can you mm -hmm. talk at all about that or is it still like hush hush you can't talk too much about it um i could probably talk a bit about it sure so, um it is an initiative that i am uh, that's actually part of the reason why I'm doing my rebrand next year. Oh. Um, because, you know, especially when you're working with gaming companies. Sure. Unless you're working with, like, an 18-plus game where you could just, like, freely, like... Boobs! Balls! <laughs> um, yeah, but then yeah, that, like, that's where you just go... <laughs> you know? Exactly! That's what I'm, t that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, because then you but, say... Um, any Anytime you want. It's easy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the reality of it. Like for uh, sure, there you do need to hold yourself to a, a higher responsibility, I guess. A higher standard. What I'd say, yeah, a higher standard. Mm. Um, not that you know, it's not in um, like uh, I know that sounds like a like such a like a mighty thing to say, but trust me, there the feeling of it is anything but mighty. <laughs> No, I, I I think I understand what you mean. Um, mm. I have I have felt that sometimes where mm -hmm. when you when you have an audience or you have people that watch you or people that mm -hmm. listen to you, um, you almost feel responsible for yeah, for the things that you put out there. And I mean, you should because the, the the content that you make is very much a representation of who you are as a person. Um, and when you when you do certain things, it can give people impressions of what you are like as a person. So sometimes you're like, okay, I want to give off the impression that I am professional. And I want to mm -hmm. give off the impression that I um, am someone that people can look to for casting or for hosting or mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I understand that. I get that. Absolutely. Damn. And like, um, as the saying goes, to who much is given, much is... Oh, wait, does it go like that? To who much is given, much is required. So yeah, I, I mean that just sounds like those with great with, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, I, that literally I was, just sounds like that quote. No, it's it's pretty much that. It is pretty much that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go to Spider Man, yeah. it just sounded like it. You know what, chat? That that's inappropriate, chat. We were talking about Spider Man and Uncle Ben dying and fifty bits from Sunny Day S'more saying, "Roy, you will always be tormented by the sounds." But also question, can I have a DK? No, you can't have anything. You just said I'd be <laughs> tormented by sounds. Five gift sub, pay up. Anyway, sorry, continue. What were we talking about again? <laughs> oh, um, being being professional and yes, as, yes, as yes. you get like an audience, you don't chart on the audience. Okay. So like, um, 
like people especially those that have been in my community for quite a while for sure um because i am so unfiltered not, not unfiltered. i say unfiltered but i also know like certain limits i guess sure. like, i know you're comfortable like, limitations yeah but i'm definitely like out there um, okay that's i guess okay but like people some most people don't know this about me like i have actually been in a position where i've had to be like very professional um like catering to like a very like like jet like pg third like pg 13 levels of presentation oh. um so and um like you know that's one of the reasons why i became what i am as a vtuber hmm. i wanted to test the limits not not even test the limits but i did want to like explore uncharted territory um away from like what my past life was where i did have to be a bit more tame and presentable because of the brand i represent right yeah yeah absolutely so, um i i am excited to go back to that though because um, i do kind of miss it a bit Believe it or not, I I will miss being able to brag about how big my. I, I, <laughs> wait, wait, I got you. How yeah. big your yeah. is? Got it. Th yes, thank you. Thank. There you go. No, I got you. You got my back. I, I got you for sure. Why you're like the best bun burst? <laughs> you're goddamn right. I am. I'm the best <laughs> there is at what I do, and what I do is, well, it's well, it's actually pretty nice. So. <laughs> yeah. I had to switch it off, but no, um, I definitely understand what you mean, um. On, I I think I agree with you entirely. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. But with with the the rebranding and what you're what you're going to be going into, are you still going to be kite? Yeah, I, I'm definitely. Um. I think. Oh, uh, like. I just to set everyone's expectations. Mm -hmm. I will still be kite. I will still be a dragon boy. Mm -hmm. Um. I think a lot of the changes that'll happen will be with lore. Okay. Um. And. Uh, Them thematics will change just a bit as well sure um i i will still have a happy trail i promise it's just that it's gonna <laughs> be um it's gonna be an on-demand thing where oh like channel the default points will be yeah, yeah yeah it's gonna be covered by default makes sense makes um, sense and uh you know just so that when it comes to like whenever clients need key art of kite for example Like, uh, at least, like, my default key art isn't, like, uh, my armpit hair and happy trail to smack, straight smack <laughs> in front of the audience's view. I did, I did actually want to ask you about that, because I think that is something that stands out for you. Mm -hmm. Like, it, at least design-wise, is how oh. very, very open you are. Um, not necessarily, like, the body hair aspect, but just right, right, right. body positive you are. Mm -hmm. um, is there, is there, like, something, is there, is there a story behind that, or is it just who you are? I have a fetish. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, That's uh, called. I, think I shouldn't say the name. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> um, wait, is, is there a name for it? There is a name for it. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, I, what, what is the name for it? I'll, t I'll tell you later. I'll tell you off stream. I don't want to get in trouble just in case. Okay. 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 Um, no. Uh, I think like my model in general mm. is... Um, Uh, it's like uh you know because that's the thing i started like going into vtubing i didn't give a shit about like how i presented myself sure um so my model is kind of um inspired from because taking into account my model mom and everything right because mm -hmm. uh, my model mom is known for making some pretty spicy bl oh i've seen i've seen that genre yeah right? i've seen yeah. i've seen i've experienced yeah. i've witnessed <laughs> they even have like a direct on an 18 plus game right now so all of that um so yeah and then if you're familiar with some of the, uh, like the bara job very much so like they actually like they actually draw like the body hair yeah so that's i'm like you know what and i, I just i just find it I don't know. Like, I know a lot of people, I'm kind of the opposite, wherein some people are like, yeah, like, it's weird to see body hair on an enemy. I'm kind of like the opposite. Like, like why not have body hair? It, it, it bothers me so much sometimes. Like, let's say you'd like, play a game where you'd have this one character that has like a full on beard and is like, um, and, and then like, you know what I mean? They look like this. 
like they have body hair on certain parts. Like let's say some characters have like chest hair. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Then they don't have like they they don't have hair anywhere else. Like um like, like in the armpits. Like they have like body hair on all other parts, and then suddenly they have like this ridiculously clean armpit. All yeah. of a sudden, it is it is like that. It's it's definitely like the anime or like video game or cartoon like aesthetic. So, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna guess that the reason for that is it's probably a pain in the ass to draw. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. you, you just spare yourself like less work. Like, for sure, for sure. Yeah, um, um, and I guess at the same time, I I don't. This this is probably gonna sound weird because I know that all oh, probably for some YouTubers like the dream is like if you could, you know it. I know some people start this as a, like for fun, as a sure. hobby, or um, like. And if it happens to work out, then if it, I ma- like if you manage to get like a big audience, then that's great. Mm. Like, hope, like, in my case, it's oh a bit god, different. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. It was so loud. Oh that's my gosh, perfect. chat, relax. I <laughs> oh, <I> continue. <laughs> but yeah, um, like in my case, um, because I've. I'm kind of disillusioned a bit already by, by VTubing, not not VTubing, but by um like becoming quote unquote like big or famous. Uh, um, okay, okay, okay. Because I'm I'm co- having come from a career that like I've worked with influencers and celebrities before, sure. um like before the pandemic. So, like, like I'm aware of like what goes on behind the scenes already, mm-hmm. and having a big audience i know like the shit you can not even shit you can get into but speaking like, of shit <laughs> like, like we just live in that kind of world where like you're always like no matter how big you're the bigger the audience like there's also like bigger responsibilities and yes. you're also gonna get like um you're also gonna have those outliers of haters and like negative of course people. you're you're always gonna have those people that don't jive with what you're doing and they're yeah, yeah, they're yeah. always the loudest people because it's a, it's exactly. always the vocal the vocal minority versus the silent majority. Exactly, mm. exactly. So um, like I'm kind of like, at least by having this kind of model, like I know I'm gonna be attracting a certain kind of community, mm. and like just having like I'm happy with just having that because that's the thing, you know. Um success isn't always necessarily measured by like having big ass numbers like sometimes like it's the i mean sometimes like numbers do like the numbers do matter of course sure, but sure. you also have to consider the quality of your audience um like for example um if you look at youtube mm-hmm. you could be like the best I'm, I'm so sorry can you hear the dogs in my background by the way i'm so sorry only I'm, only a little bit you're okay don't worry okay um but yeah, for example, you're in the niche. Well, so, yeah. and you're like you're the best quilter in the world. Yeah. Like you might not be attracting the entire world with your skill, but for those that are interested in your niche, like they will be like interested. Like you will have that audience. Yeah. So I guess it's kind of the same with me. Like I mean it would be nice, of course, if I could like grow to a big audience but i'm already happy with the niche i have so you you care more about finding that niche and staying within that niche rather than trying to appeal to more masses and exploding that way well going into 2.0 not anymore oh, okay like, <laughs> initially that, i was <laughs> that that was your first goal now it has shifted and you do want to more so appeal to a mass or a wider audience yeah okay um and i guess it comes with it's part of the growth like you find out more about what you like doing yeah the opportunities you have in front of you of course so mm-hmm. no i think that's totally valid i mean uh i myself am working towards roy 3.0 uh as well Yay. so uh I'm, I'm looking for like some sometime early next year uh doing it in, in that regard too and while i'm while i'm not doing a major overhaul uh it is it is still a big overhaul that is also following uh state in what you're kind of doing which is yeah gonna try and appeal to a little bit more masses while also being more myself and 
enjoying my content more and things of that nature. Absolutely. Um, so I definitely get what you're saying. And I think it's it shows your experience, not only in VTubing and uh, Twitch, but you're just uh, experience as a content creator as a whole, because you mentioned before, you've been involved in League, you are, you've been worked with, you know, bigger clients, like, you know, what is needed in the market, and you're finally starting to push yourself into that direction. Absolutely. Cool. It, it has its pros and cons, like, mm. um, it's like, slightly cracking the code, I guess, as far as, <laughs> but it, it, what, what I kind of don't I'm like about it Hacker is, voice. Um, <laughs> but um one thing i haven't yeah. been enjoying as much about it is the fact that like not having that raw enthusiasm other vtubers have you know because i'm already disillusioned by a lot yeah. of the, you know like knowing what it takes and knowing to what degree it where you can say it's feasible like you know what i mean so yeah no no entirely uh, just like i know what it takes to sub for four months in a row. Thank you so much, Space Milk, for the four months. Hey. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, I, d I definitely get what you mean. Um, and that's, I, I it's, it's kind of funny because um, we we have not conversed too much in terms of um, content uh, related mm -hmm. talks. Um, but I've I've been in the the, the content creation field myself uh, for over five years now, and VTubing is the first time that I've had an, a modicum of success. Oh. Uh, and now that I've had it, I'm like. Okay, well, how do I how, now? Now that I've found it, I'm learning. You know, I've, 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 I feel like now I'm gonna crack the code on bigger success. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely get what you're saying. Uh, is there is there anything like big that you are doing to kind of like set yourself up for that that you can share, or is that all still kind of like in the works and still being kind of like dartboarded? Um, like I do have a rough idea. Okay. Oh. What I want to do moving forward. Sure. Um, but I think, admittedly, the 2.0 launch is going to be very crucial. Because mm. um, here's another. Oh my god! Like, you know, <laughs> see, this is the thing. Like, I don't mind talking about these kinds of things. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I know for some people, it's like just enjoy the process. But I guess it, it's part of the responsibility of having the platform. You know. Like, yeah, to be absolutely. More aware of these kinds of things. Um, uh, shit what was I about to say? Um. Oh, okay. So when I started off as a VTuber, um, like I was at a, see, this is why momentum is such a thing as well. Mm. Um, if you're not prepared, you might, you, you could end up dropping the ball. Um, in my case, like I debuted, like I had such an upward trajectory when I started as a VTuber. Like I went from six, like 60 average viewers, 80, 100. And then I was peaking like at my peak um, around like uh, late July, I was peaking like 160, 170 average viewership Dang. on Twitch. And then um, a work opportunity came IRL. And I had to, cause I, I'm, I'm not the best financially admittedly. So, and I really need the money. So I took the job. Um, I, I, it was a career I already left, but it, since it was offered and the money was good, I took it. Um, and I was gone for about a week, a uh, week and a half, probably two weeks at most, including like the rest I needed after the job. When I came back, like, like my viewership started going, mm. yeah, <laughs> like, um, so yeah, it's just one of those moments. And also combined with the fact that we were starting to reach that period where people were starting to go back to school. So a lot of streamers were starting to suffer like number drops. So it was a combination of the two. So I definitely had similar feelings then. Um, mine, mine was not necessarily because of the people going back to school, but for other capacities, <laughs> but I definitely understand what you mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, I think, I think it's interesting. Um, and it sounds like that you do have a lot of big plans for kite 2.0. <laughs> Uh, and that you have yeah. a lot of big plans for the future, which is really exciting. You know, I, I'm 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 happy that you are you're coming back. I, I remember seeing that post that you made on Twitter specifically, saying, "Hey guys, 2023 kite 2.0," and I was like, <gasps> I got like really excited because it it means that you are excited enough to try something new or to rebrand or to you know redebut or anything like that. And that passion that you have it enough to try again or to do something new or to upgrade. Is really exciting. I love I love seeing re-debuts like that. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, that's a good point in chat there. Like algorithm is kind of non-existent on this platform. Oh, is that what they said? Uh, one thing I think of is Twitch is not good for growth. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I usually talk about these types of things during uh, my content clinics because uh, mm -hmm. about about like once a month, maybe like maybe twice a month if it's if we're feeling it. Uh, I do a I do a content clinic uh, with either a mm -hmm. VTuber or a content creator that I feel like has been around for a while or that I know has been around for a while and knows what they're talking about uh, in the content sphere. But yeah, the algorithm, there's, there's no Twitch algorithm. Um, yeah. If you're ever at all saying Twitch algorithm in like a, a sense of it not helping you, you need to educate yourself because there are bigger problems than Twitch's algorithm with your content. Yep. Because there isn't one. If you don't know already, I will say it again, and I'm sure Kite will agree. Mm -hmm. The best way to grow on Twitch is to make content on other platforms that's more discoverable, mm -hmm. like YouTube and TikTok. Even Twitter mm -hmm. can help, but not Twitch. You need to have organic, real, searchable growth, and TikTok mm -hmm. and YouTube are the kings of that right now. Yep. So exactly yeah and see that's that's part of it um, like not me not being prepared um like dropping it's like dropping the ball not only in terms of absence but because there's so many ways you can remedy that but like putting out uh, like keeping content up on see this is why um let's say for example other content creators when they go on vacation sure like, um, like traditional content con blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> traditional content creators like um they'd have scheduled posts up yeah yeah, where yeah even though they're away like they'd still have stuff that would upload just to um keep their content flowing so it's you know stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah yeah so, it's, it's it's real yeah even and, even for twitch streamers exactly and i i th this is based on experience as well i remember there was one clip like somebody i think it was like a there was somebody that clipped uh, the collab I did with Mizuno Aki, mm -hmm. and that clip garnered like I think it's like six digit views now. Oh! And during that month, that clip went up. I like, I think like this was in July. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, the, the same like the month before I went on like a short hiatus and like, boom. Um, like I gained like four to five k followers, I think, within that single month. Like, I, I'm gonna have to double check my stats for that. That's but, yeah, it was crazy. like crazy. Just because of that one clip, like that one clip from YouTube, directing people, like getting Whoa. people curious. Oh, this guy is interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna go check him out on Twitch and follow him. So that's how powerful it is to keep your presence on other platforms outside of Twitch. Because Twitch is such a it's such a niche platform in itself. Yeah. But, those other social media platforms where you know there's like higher discoverability because of all the people that use it even people that aren't gamers like you know um that's why i have those like like comments sometimes like need to be like youtubers are weird or they because, or like you know, that's, yeah like they're so cringe because you know vtuber because, cringe because <laughs> like yeah that's like the whole world can access all the platforms because they are more for a general audience yeah it's for sure like a hub of different cultures and people now, I, I've been saying this recently, and I'm, I'm curious how you would feel about it. Um, and I, I've said it to a lot of people, uh, specifically in the content creation sphere, and VTubing sphere even more so. I feel like VTubing, there is a certain level, and I think, I think it's around hitting partner, or just below or just above hitting partner. Um, so, like, so like the 75 average viewer range, or just below or just above, where you have this almost realization mm -hmm. where it doesn't matter that you're a VTuber, but it oh. matters that you're a content creator. Absolutely. And I, I've been saying that a lot recently because I feel like as you start to go up like the ladder of viewership with VTubers, you see that a lot. You see like VTubers being super creative with the content that they're doing and not just playing games. And mm -hmm. you see everybody in that upper echelon active on other platforms, whether it be TikTok or YouTube or Twitter or whatever. They're they're chasing that bread. They're they're on that grind everywhere. So I I, I always I always think that's really interesting um, that that people don't realize that that it's it doesn't matter that you're a VTuber. Being being a VTuber isn't interesting anymore. What what are you what else you what are you bringing to the table? That is interesting. Mm -hmm. And how does VTubing incorporate that? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Exactly. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like having an interesting model is like I mean it's like it, sure it could it could potentially be what gets people to check you out sure. but what'll like there's a difference between that's why there's a statistic that exists like called retention yes um, retention rate yeah because it's one thing to get people through the door it's another thing to have them coming back again and again for more for sure for sure yeah it's 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 really important and i, I know you mentioned it before too with the 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 quote unquote being prepared um mm -hmm. and having content to back it up so that way when you yeah. do explode it's it's so i i hate that we're like dunking on twitch so much but like literally how twitch is structured as a platform if you're not live you don't exist on twitch no you know what i don't like i wouldn't even call it dunking <laughs> it's like that's just how the game works yeah i guess yeah and then again i guess it's just perspective yeah it, it can definitely also be perspective um but yeah, I, I think a lot of people fail to realize that. So it's important to have that content ready on other platforms. So that way, when you do have that one uh, Aki clip that blows up, mm. they can be like, oh, Kite's not live? Let me go to his YouTube and watch some content. Or yeah. let me go to his TikTok and see some of his you know, funny clips and things like that. So um, yeah, 100% super important. I think people don't realize that. Uh, this is probably like such a bad analogy. But um, <laughs> like the way hey, I hey. think about it is like, um, for, like I think about like there's this certain um like there's this certain let's say tv series that's trending sure um and then you can only catch it on this platform mm -hmm. so that's kind of the way i and like how do people come out like how do people like find out about this tv series being good it, it could be because of like word of mouth because of the reviews about people raving about it on social media also it could be because of the marketing like the marketing really catches um like the audience's eye and like so many other factors yeah. so that's kind of how i look at twitch like it's 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 more of like what do you do to bring people like like twitch is just like the platform where i put the shit out <laughs> yeah yeah it, it does feel like that huh mm -hmm. <laughs> um there was something else that you mentioned and i see um halen for hire um kind of mentioning it a little bit too with vtubing is so oversaturated that now it's just okay your model is pretty but how can you pitch me uh your content am i wanting to stay because mm -hmm. you mentioned before you might catch people with your model but mm -hmm. you, if your content isn't up to par or it's not ready you won't keep them yeah yeah i think that's a that's a very fair point i i usually say this analogy too is um vtubing is like cake where your model is the icing it's important but if you're just eating icing, you're gonna have a bad time. It's sweet and and fun, but like after like a couple mouthfuls, you're like, this is too much now. Like I, I'm not yeah. getting anything else. The cake is more important than anything else. You have to have that content. The cake is your content and the things that you do, whether it be on Twitch, on YouTube, on TikTok, anything like that. So. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? That was like, I, like I am, very open to admitting like that was my struggle at the mm. start um like people you know because i think like especially for our group in victa like our models are pretty like unique like, i think so very eye-catching yeah. yeah um but that was my struggle like um like i had people interested but um like my retention was i i honestly say this could be a like people would say no you're doing okay but for me i don't know it's because like i said i i'm fully aware of the reality and um like when i say i am not doing good enough it's not because i'm being down on myself it's because i am aware of the like the requirements and mm. like what i should be doing like at an optimal level to consider myself as doing well and that's why like lately i've been like learning how to video edit and like photoshop there you go because it's it, it that's why like um yeah it's like not just vtubing but i that's kind of like the overall umbrella we're all under right content creator yeah yeah 100 um and that's kind of what we were talking about before uh 
yeah, I, I think it's really important that people realize once they hit a certain level with VTubing, especially that it doesn't matter that you're a VTuber, that you are a content creator first and foremost. Yes. Um, and that's what the focus should be on to make good content, not to just sell yourself as a VTuber. Cause like, if you're not making yeah. content, then it doesn't matter that you're a VTuber. Like it's just a different media to, to sell yourself in. Um, yep, yep. but I'm sorry. We, we, we spun off in such a tangent. I it was, it's, <laughs> it's fun talking about content though. I, I, I always have such, such an interesting time being able to converse with guests about how they feel uh, about these yes. things. And I feel like to some capacity, it almost always spins into it. Uh, but it was, it's, it's good to talk to you about it. But now let's let's take a back let's seat. Talk, yeah. And let's, let's, let's talk get, about ass. Let's talk about ass. Yes. Tiffany Witcher, <laughs> speaking of ass. Hello. <laughs> You're just in time. Sweet babies, hello. big man. Yeah. God, Kite is really. Yeah. He's big. He got a big. <laughs> listen, I'm telling you. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> what, what did I say behind the beat? The world may never know. <laughs> Such a such a great introduction. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Sometimes you just gotta roll the dice, and you realize you laid it on a nat. What? All right, Tyga. You know what? You're a big boy too. Okay. I'm sure you're. I actually, don't remember how tall Tyga is. I know he's taller than me. <laughs> uh, but sometimes you roll the dice. Sometimes you roll on a nat one. Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches, and you go. You know. Do you think you'll stay for a bit? There we go. We got a natural twenty. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh my goodness, gracious. Okay, so let's let's talk more about you again instead of just content creation as a whole. Yes, yes. So we were we were talking about kind of um, 2.0 kite, and we talked mm -hmm. about kind of where where you got your inspirations to start. Are there any inspirations that you have going into kite 2.0 though? Is there is there something that really made you go, I have to do better or I want to do better? This is what I'm gonna do. This is the person that inspired me, or these are the people that inspired me. Um, oh, this is so, this is gonna sound so cheesy. <laughs> but, okay, <laughs> no. no, you need because like you need context on sure, how sure, I sure. started. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I started off as a VTuber, mm. I shit you not, the only VTuber I knew when I decided I wanted to become a VTuber was Mizuno Aki. <laughs> I did not know any other VTubers. Okay, and the only reason why I like even. Because I followed Aki before he was even a VTuber. Mm -hmm. um, so he was the only reference I had of VTuber. Um, and, like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to try to make the story too long. So I got my model. Um, like, when I got my model, I didn't even know what I wanted. I just, like, um, I, I sent my mom, model mom, like, a picture of my Final Fantasy XIV character. <laughs> yeah, can, you, can you make this for me, but in human form? Yes, you know, Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I want to avoid copyright and yes. whatnot. So, like, she did that. And, uh, like, what do you want your character to wear? And I'm like, hmm. Um, like, I couldn't be bothered to think of, like, a fantasy element. And I was thinking, hmm, if I streamed on Twitch, like, being shirtless might get me banned. Um, so like, what can I wear that? You never you know, know. Like, yeah. It's, it's kind of, kind of show stuff, but not too, you know what? Like, just put me in this vest, like no, 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 <laughs> no dress shirt underneath, just, just this vest. Yeah. Like it's going to pop off of me. <laughs> so TLDR, I went into VTubing without much inspiration behind my character. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But what about Kite 2.0? What, what, what inspired you to work into Kite 2.0? Or who, who inspired yeah. you to do better? Yeah, you know what? That's the thing. Like seeing how creative VTubers are with their lore, and um, like it just made me like think that I want to like I want to come up with something interesting for Kite as well, not just some kind of yolo spur of the moment do whatever i want with my model kind of thing like yeah. actually put in the effort yeah and um because I, I like when i was younger i like one of my favorite subjects was like english and literature mm -hmm. and so like writing stories and poems and essays like that was my that was the thing i excelled at in school for sure so and in, in history like that was another thing so like just generally anything anything about story or history culture like i'm very interested so i wanted to bring that into 2.0 not necessarily culture but story building yeah actually coming up with a solid base so um my the inspiration i think there's definitely some fantasy elements to it but i try to you see that's the thing um like i aspire for my model like my lore to be as close as to my actual like 
itself as much as possible.、Mm. So I'd say inspiration heavily comes off of me. It's just that adding that more fantasy element to it. Okay. So, but when I say inspiration, I don't mean necessarily like for the character. I mean like, right, right. What what made you decide that you wanted to do Kite 2.0? Was there another、oh. YouTuber or like content creator that you went, "Whoa, I love what they're doing. It's time for me to step up my game." Because that's that's how you're making it sound like that. There was like right, a right. moment where you went, "Whoa, I can do better." Ah, okay. Um. Ah,、uh, I wouldn't necessarily say there is a specific content creator.、Mm. Um. Because I think at the end of the day, one thing I'm very conscious of is I try not to get influence as much as possible <laughs> by、um, like、other creators. But you know I, what? That、That's, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, like, let's be real. It's hard to not do that because, like, one way or another, like, everything in this world has been like said and done already. Yeah, of course.、I mean? Um, but I think、hmm, what kind of did inspire me, I guess, is. I guess just how far VTubing has come, like、mm. seeing the efforts those bigger content creators have made. Not even the bigger ones, like even the smaller ones. Sure. Like, there's always something in- innovative, I guess. Some like all the ideas that come out. So, yeah, it, it's honestly hard to pinpoint a single content creator that made me go like, "Wow." I guess it's just more of like wanting to. Step up my game, and yeah, I'm just that type of person. I like challenging myself to do better. I think that's fair. If I know I'm within the capacity where I know I can do better, it's not just that. I always tell this to my audience. Like, one of the best ways I feel I can give back to my audience, especially for, I mean, this is what I say. Like my viewers, they could be doing something better with their lives. <laughs> oh you know no! I mean? Come they could on. Be, like they could be spending money on other things for themselves, but they decide to spend a few hours of their day. What sometimes like throw like spend a bit of money towards supporting me, and like that means a lot to me. Yeah, of course.、And、I always tell them like I obviously like, like there's limitations to what I can do to. Give back to you guys, but what I know I can do within my capacity, since this is why we're here in the first place, is to just continue to work on myself and、yeah. my content. So that's kind of the motivation and inspiration. So、like、self improvement because you saw other people improving, and you went, "I can." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it sounds so fucking cheesy. I know. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it does because, like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I a hundred percent agree. I think I think the floor for for VTubing, meaning like the entry point. And like what what is considered the the, the bottom line or like、mm. entry level of VTubing has gotten so much better. Like entry level VTubing now is like what mid to top tier VTubing was like two to three years ago. Oh, absolutely. And seeing seeing that difference and that growth and that drive and what people are are capable of, given the opportunity and to show their creativeness and things like that, I hundred percent agree. It's inspiring because you see all these people around you. Doing these crazy great things, and you're like, you know what? I want to do that too. I mean, it's partly why I, why I ended up making the cafe. It's partly why I'm I'm doing a you know Roy 3.0 as well because I see all these、yeah. people that are that are really excited and really passionate about what they're doing, and then taking it one step further and making sure that the content's fun and good and strong. So I, I definitely feel you there. I, I think that's totally fair.、Mm-hmm. Now,、uh, with that in mind, is there anything big that you have coming up in the near future? I'm not talking 2023, but maybe like you know the rest of November or December, anything like that. Ah,、oh, good question. Um, as far as anything big, uh, I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Being so general about it, <laughs> um, not, nothing particularly specific.、Mm. But I will say,、um, I I consider it big in my own because、um, it's something I haven't really been doing.、Um, I have been entertaining more collaborations again lately. Hey, well, I'm happy you did because we got to hang yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.、Um, not just also like. Because of time zone difference, that、yes. was such an issue for me before, and I had such a whack sleep schedule before.、Sure. So that's kind of a big thing for me, like doing more collaborations, especially for, with NA content creators.、Um, and、I'm, I don't know, for me, I consider it big because I'm not really a social person. But for some reason, these past few weeks and weeks to come, 
I've been feeling very social lately, more out of my comfort zone in that aspect. So yeah, that that's pretty big for me, in my opinion. Well, it's big. I'm glad that you're starting to feel like that because I, I know it can be exhausting and I know it can be challenging, but I think that's one of the big things that VTubing has um, different and above a lot of other normal types of content creation is the, the interaction with other VTubers because audiences want to see their favorite VTubers together and collabing and like worlds colliding, you know? So I think it's important to get out there and to, to collab and to spend time with people. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but what do, do you have nothing going on? Do you have any streams coming up? Um, streams. I do have a, like, a... <laughs> I wish I wish I could say there's something grand coming up, but not really. <laughs> I'm not asking for anything um, grand. I'm just asking what your plans are for like the next week or two. <laughs> just, this is my regular schedule. <laughs> sure, sure. No, it, I guess um, it, it's still like in January or February. But mm -hmm. I will say like that's kind of my focus right now. Like I'm trying not to do anything um out of the box for november and december because mm. what i'm really gearing towards aside from 2.0 is that uh, that project i want to do for league of legends and team by tactics so that's where a lot of my energy is still going to. so the big thing is that you're prepping for kite 2.0 yeah I'm, gotcha. I'm i'm building up i'm i'm boating i'm biding my time i like it i like it biding that time biding that time biding. Yeah, that sounds great that sounds great well kite Thank you so much for being here tonight. I, I really do appreciate you getting the chance to uh, hang out with me or me getting the chance to hang out with you, vice versa. Jeez, that's more important. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been a blast uh, <clears throat> uh, flirting with you, uh, but also talking about your, <laughs> your content creation journey uh, and things of that nature. Uh, but we are going to call it a night for now. Guys, thank you so much for watching out in the audience. Really appreciate it. If you hung in from any of the collabs that we had, thank you. I appreciate you being here uh, and for supporting the stream, for supporting Kite and myself. If you're interested in checking out Kite and any of the other content they do, exclamation point collab. You'll always be able to find whichever creators I have on. Check them out on Twitter and Twitch at uh, Kite Hasegawa. And any 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 last second big things? Um, My dick? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kite, please! We're gonna go ahead and raid Marina on that note. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'll be back tomorrow on YouTube at about 6 p.m. CST. So if you don't have any plans for Thanksgiving and you're just looking for some people to hang out with or just looking for some time to kill while you're waiting on food, anything like that, pull up a chair. I'll be playing Pokemon most of the evening and hanging out uh, all day long on YouTube. Uh, Kite, thank you again for being here. I really do thank appreciate you, it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And I can't wait to hang out with you next time. Guys, if you want to participate in the raid, be sure to use the following raid command. If you are not a sub, but you still want to participate in the raid, be sure to use the secondary raid command. I'll see you tomorrow on YouTube, and uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Good night.